tell us a little bit about Black Lane and your history, why you guys started the company. So I was working with my co-founder um, about 17 years ago when I came back from the US. So I met him here, he came in Berlin. And we thought one day, because it's a good complementary fit, we should do something together. The project we worked on there back then was great. But we believed uh, the way how companies should be run should be different. And that's the reason why we started this. We wanted to build an environment for us and our employees where we all can enjoy work and do exciting things. There are actually dozens more car companies out there now doing rides on demand through apps and websites. Uber probably being the most well-known of the new guard of, of apps. What are you doing at Black Lane that's different or better? And back then we already wondered why everybody was looking into this ride hailing and the short distance kind of taxi-like rides, but nobody was caring about the professional driver services, more looking at higher quality, longer distances, the usual black car chauffeur services. That was still kind of an industry coming from the past. And we tried to help this industry to, to become digital and make it more efficient and help the customers, our partners, the chauffeur companies, the driver companies, to do better business. We won't be seeing autonomous cars coming from you guys. It will be sure. more uh, robots to take your suitcases into the airport. No, like first of all, we, we look into like complete the travel chain and uh, we want to deliver the service our customers expect. If this is an autonomous car or a car which is um, kind of steered by a chauffeur and driver, is something which needs to be seen. For sure it will not happen on the like, global scale at once, at one moment that everything becomes autonomous. This will step by step be happening. We can imagine certain use cases where this makes sense, but we still would like to have this human touch point on the customer service side, but also in the airport that people actually meet people and can help them to get their luggage together and be guided through the car, fast track immigration, um, and just take pain out of travel. And we believe it might take quite some more time until robots can fulfill this. When you're doing this full end-to-end -end concierge type service of getting people to the airport and getting their luggage in, you kind of imagine an increasing amount of services on top of that. For example, a really basic one being in car Wi-Fi. Um, For example. So how are you making sure that you're able to offer consistency of experience without owning the hardware, so to speak? That's one of our daily jobs, right? So that's why we did this. And that's also why this airport services fits perfectly to what we do. We are used to aggregate and very fragmented and kind of unreliable supply. And don't misunderstand this, but it's difficult to, to get this homogeneous quality around the world from in Berlin and some other destinations where we're currently having, having offices. And that's what we're up for. Um, that's what we are working on every single day to make sure that the quality is all around the world the same and that the customers who usually travel in one region of the world accidentally also traveling for example to the other side of the world can know what they need to expect, what they can expect and that we also deliver on this. And that's kind of our main business.